Hello, and thank you for buying this tape. Welcome to the series I don't have a name for yet, but you will see in the title. In episode one, today we are going to be talking about game cases from the Atari 2600, which well, I have some game cases, it just happens to not be one. And we have all the way up to the Switch, because... Case. Game case. Anyway, let's get into this video. I mean, tape. <laughs> video games talk about the cases of them let's go wow got some really good video games there It'd be a shame if i destroyed them oh god oh, oh it's okay it's okay uh, uh. anyway back to the game room i have my favorite youtuber on He's pretty cool. He's called Santa System 3. You might have heard of him. Welcome to Speaking of Retro. Today, I will be talking about game cartridges and cases. We will go from the Atari 2600 to the Nintendo Switch because those seem like the main things to do. We won't talk about any like Sega consoles or Xbox consoles because, you know, I, I want to keep things simple. So we're just talking about Nintendo stuff in the Atari because it was really the main thing before Nintendo. Anyway, so it is oddly easy to find Atari boxes, despite the console being 40 years old, though that probably has to do with the fact nobody wants these games. Oh well, the boxes are pretty nice, or at least they are in good condition, unlike mine. The cartridges sit on a piece of cardboard in the box and are hilariously smaller than the NES cartridge, though that is probably because though the boards are roughly the same size, the NES had to put the cartridges in sideways and push down, so this is probably why. As for the cartridges themselves, they have one sticker for the front and top label, and back sometimes has a separate label or none at all. Also, at this time, everybody made cartridges in all different shapes and sizes that were okay and generally the same thing, maybe just a label changed, but some, like these Parker Brothers ones, are completely different. Onto the NES. The cartridges for the NES are really common, at least for the not-so-valuable ones, though the boxes for all the games are hard to find, though, like the opposite of the Atari, maybe it's just because the console is still collected by many. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is the most popular retro console to collect for. The label, like the Atari games, goes from the front to the top, and there is a separate label for the back. We will talk about some of the bootleg NES games. The only one of these I own is this 4 Quattro Adventure cartridge. It has this big arrow to tell you where to insert the cartridge. That's very handy. And you can see it is a bundle for some bad Chimerica games and Codemaster games. There is no top label, which is annoying, though the shape and goldness tells you what cartridge it is if you're putting it sideways on a shelf, like most people will. And one other thing is that the gold is like the Legend of Zelda and some other games. but. It is not the same process because the plastic colors on the insides are different. Oh, and one last thing, on the back of most bootleg carts, there is a switch to help you get past a lockout chip since Nintendo wanted people to pay for the boards and cases, the companies. Onto the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The Super Nintendo does not have much too interesting to talk about. The boxes are just as hard to find as the NES ones, and sometimes you find different colored ones just like the NES. Oh, and the N64 is pretty much the same thing, though the boxes are slightly easier to find. I have one here. The GameCube is where we have something to talk about, and as the cases are way more likely to come than not with the discs. Oh, and one last thing. The colors of the cartridges for the Super Nintendo and N64 do vary sometimes. You can find the yellow one or the red one. When you look at the box, you see the game art, the age rating on the bottom left corner, and a Nintendo GameCube logo on the top. Sometimes with the horrible yellow Nintendo selects in place, and usually a only four badge on the side of that. On the side, you see on the bottom, it says GameCube, which is kind of annoying if you're seeing against your Wii games on a shelf, since um, most consoles uh, logos are on the top. 
The back says uh, the features in the game, some cool artwork, and on the bottom is a bunch of warnings about seizures and licensing things. When you open it up, you will immediately notice the case is high quality since the hinge is really nice. There are some plastic bits on the side to hold in the manual and other paperwork and usually a Nintendo Power ad somewhere in there. Above the disc, there is a spot to hold the memory card, just like the PlayStation 2, and of course, the try and true holding pop out method thing we all know and have mixed feelings towards. Oh, and we can't forget the big logo on the bottom and the big plastic walls that make the cases so strong. Whew, that was a lot. Now we <laughs> will talk about the Wii's case. The Wii has multiple colors, red, yellow, and of course white. On the front there is a Wii logo on the top, the artwork and title under that, and an age rating on the bottom left corner, just like the GameCube. On the side there is the logo and the logo on the top, just like most things, though I do prefer it to be on the bottom like the GameCube, it's just better to stick with the top so that I can match other games. Whatever. The back has even more junk on the back, and even less art. On the top right corner, it shows the control methods it utilizes, whether that be the Wiimote, Nunchuck, or Balance Board, or a combination. The inside has less plastic to protect it, but whatever. Plastic to hold the manuals and other junk, just like the GameCube and some old disc holder, just bigger since Nintendo. Who really hates piracy, though didn't work as the action replay and straight up piracies exist. Oh well. Oh, and as I'm writing this, I realize that there is plastic to assume hold the advertisements up to you. Let me see. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're there to make... ...the case stronger. Gotta change that. Now let's talk about the Super Wii, also known as, by nobody, the Wii U. The top is just like a GameCube with a little Amiibo logo if the game supports it, and both the front, back, and middle, and insides are the same. Oh wait, it says Nintendo when the Wii doesn't. Oh well, let's just finish this with the Switch. The Switch's case is sad. It is cool that it is slightly smaller than other cases, and it's not even that annoying. And you guessed it, logo on the top, and art and title in the middle, and rating on the bottom left corner. <laughs> the back is the same as the other cases too. The side has no art, just red with white text and slightly varying fonts depending on the game. Oh yeah, and the failed thing I bought right before it went on sale, the Nintendo Labo. The Nintendo Labo's side of the case is black as opposed to red, and the front has a simple cardboard design and a place to put your name for some reason. Oh, and the back has just the Nintendo Switch logo, as it is not on the top left corner of the case. The reason there are no seizure or copyright things that take up much room on the back is because it's all in the Nintendo Labo box, which I don't feel like taking out right now. Oh, and one last thing, the inside has a little space for a manual on the wrong side that almost never has a manual, and a little slot for the cartridge. So that wraps up this stupid video. This video has taken a lot of work with B-roll and the VHS filter, which by the way, is going through an actual VCR and v VHS tape. And this is the first video with a script, though I won't do it for every video, this one just seemed appropriate for having a skip script. Anyway, thanks for watching it, I'm Zan System 3 uh, this is a video on the internet, and goodbye. But first... I'd also like to say, that script was horrible. I know, this is just practice for a better script, because I have already gotten slightly better while reading this, I think. And I've had to repeat that like three times by now because of how many slip-ups I've had, and my voice still isn't doing the best at doing it. Not my voice, me. Anyway, probably should just talk slower, that'd probably be easier. But anyway, seriously, I'm the Assistant 3. This has been a video on the internet. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. There's so many of my face.